This is not a drill. This is not an April Fool's joke because it's April 3rd. Yes, this is something for real. And as a huge Mario and Luigi fan, this is very, very promising and exciting news. So right now, people are going crazy on Twitter about Nintendo somehow hinting at Mario and Luigi because they just sent out a recent survey about Mario RPGs to some people. It even mentions things like bros attacks, stickers, and Super Paper Mario's real-time combat. So there's a lot of information here to go over, and I'm very excited to talk to you about all this stuff. But before we get started, stop what you're doing. If you're excited for Mario and Luigi to make a return, make sure you leave a like and subscribe we are right now on a big goal to reach 300,000 subscribers and we are so close and you guys have been killing it day after day after day yesterday you hit a hundred brand new subscribers thank you so much let's see if we can do the same thing today so stop what you're doing it'll only take a second okay back into the news but this first image states this survey is about the games from the Paper Mario series the Mario and Luigi series and Super Mario RPG before answering this survey had you already heard of any of these Mario games and it gives the options for yes, I have played them at least once, or yes, but I've never played any of them, or no, I have never heard of them before. This next image says which one is your absolute favorite? Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario Color Splash, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, which is very interesting, Mario & Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey, or Mario & Luigi Dream Team. I never thought I'd see a survey anymore with Partners in Time in it, or even Super Super Paper Mario on the Wii, so this is a very odd survey. Moving on to the next part of the survey, it says the Paper Mario games, Mario and Luigi games, and Super Mario RPG usually include a variety of characters. On the one hand, completely new ones like Geno or Mallow from Super Mario RPG, but also familiar ones like Peach or Bowser. Do you genuinely prefer the new or the familiar characters? I mean, like, come on, we all love new characters. I, I think that one's gonna be unanimous for the most part. But also it says when thinking of the behavior or appearance of the familiar characters, which of these statements would you agree to the most? I prefer all characters to behave and appear like they do in other Mario games. I prefer the central character to appear unique or to behave in unexpected ways. I prefer even side characters like Toads to appear unique or to behave in unexpected ways. That's an interesting question. So I guess they're asking like, do you want these characters to have soul in these games or just be you know, way exactly the way they are in the mainline game. So I hope people are saying they want them to be unique because that's what's the whole point of these Mario RPGs. It makes them very unique. It makes them stand out. It makes them funny. It makes, you know, these RPGs in general stand out. So that, that's a weird question. And for this last slide of the survey, it says the Paper Mario games, Mario and Luigi games, and Super Mario RPG have offered a wide range of different battle systems and mechanics. Which of these aspects do you like the most? And it goes through a list where you have to choose up to five aspects. And I'll run through them real quick. Using special attacks, last bros attacks with unique effects, having time to plan your next move, the time limit that forces you to think fast about the best course of action, a turn-based combat system, a real-time combat system like Super Paper Mario, collecting one-time usable attack items like stickers in the overworld and using these in battle, please don't click this, using items like mushrooms or fire flowers, solving a little puzzle at the beginning of the battle like in uh, Paper Mario the Origami King, companions fighting alongside Mario, please. Mario fighting alone, uh, increasing the power of your attack or your defense by pressing buttons at the right time, which is, I, I normally love that, filling a gauge with precise inputs and using power moves or attacks when it's full, or none of these. Now, these are very specific questions. I mean, like, super specific. So, I am kind of wondering what the purpose of this is, and is it just about Mario and Luigi? Now, there was actually one more slide that I forgot about, and it's kind of the same situation where you had to pick five features, uh, but this is about pretty much features that you would like in the games. Uh, for instance, some say seeing many familiar elements from the Mario universe, uh, getting stronger by leveling up or learning new abilities, increasing the power of your attacks or your defense by pressing buttons at the right time, encountering new characters that are unlike the known characters from the Mario games, encountering familiar characters like Luigi, Peach, or Bowser, exploring new worlds and places, uh, defeating enemies in a turn-based combat system by choosing your next move wisely, collecting new gear or accessories to become stronger, funny dialogues and a humorous atmosphere, a unique graphical style, following an adventure and engaging story, using newly unlocked abilities to overcome obstacles in the overworld, or none of these. Now, I'm actually kind of upset by these, uh, you know, surveys, because I'm like, 
I feel like everyone that's been talking about it hasn't gotten it. It's just been a few select people online through like Reddit and stuff. And I'm like, us diehard Mario RPG fans that have played all of these games really would love to fill this out because we are the people you should be speaking to. We are the people that have played these games and can easily answer these questions for you. Now, I will say undoubtedly, this makes me very excited. This does give me hope for sure that Mario and Luigi is not dead yet. And I want to make it clear that I never thought they were dead. And there's really been no reason to think so, simply due to the fact that there hasn't been a Mario and Luigi game on Switch. I guess people confirmed that it's just dead and then Alpha Dream going bankrupt. I don't think that just means the end of a huge series Nintendo had created. Maybe it just meant a pause in the series for a while until they figured out what to do with the IP. Whether they, you know, shake it up and give it to another developer or whether they revive Alpha Dream. But I just don't think just because Alpha Dream went bankrupt, it means anything negative for Mario and Luigi. Because overall, the Mario and Luigi games are really well received and they've done pretty well. The remakes, not so much, uh, but they have done well. And I don't see why in the world this would stop development completely completely on a huge series Nintendo had created with over like six or seven games in the franchise now. However, this survey is awesome, nevertheless. I think since the remake was announced for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, it really showed us fans that Nintendo was curious to see why is it that we liked that original game so much. And, and you can see in the survey, lots of these questions were literally just pulled from people's complaints over the years, as some of them are so specific, like collecting stickers in the overworld, or having a partner in the battle system, having a level up battle system, turn-based battle system compared to some of the other puzzle battle mechanics. And it's just like, there's so many questions. They've even thrown in games I never expected them to. And that's why I said, seeing Partners in Time there is wild. Seeing Super Paper Mario brought up in 2024, is wild. I mean, they even went as far to bring up the graphical art style and the characters, like having new characters or old characters. And I'm like, I'm looking through these surveys and I'm like, so many of these questions just are obvious does. Like, this is exactly what we've been asking for. And I'm just hoping that it's not going to the wrong audience. You know what I mean? Like kids that maybe have never played a Mario and Luigi game. They just see, oh, uh, do you want new characters or just more old characters like Luigi and Bowser? And they're like, I know Luigi and Bowser and like not click the new characters. And like, <laughs> you know, please. So I'm hoping this survey gets sent out to a lot more people, uh, especially people that have familiarity with the RPGs from the Mario series. But this is a extremely good sign. And it almost even makes me think that this could also lead to maybe even more RPG experiences in the future. Um, maybe we see something more along the lines of Mario RPG now, um, and maybe something completely different outside of Mario and Luigi in Paper Mario, uh, or maybe even outside of, you know, Mario Rabbits, which they didn't even include in this list. Technically speaking, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey, it's a mouthful, came out at the tail end of 2018. So so almost 2019. That gives you the entirety of 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and then this year, 2024. So we are on year six of no Mario and Luigi game, which isn't crazy, especially with the whole bankruptcy. I mean, look, we're on year seven, almost eight with, you know, a 3D Mario we've been waiting for. So like I said, it's not insane by any means. It's definitely, you know, we can wait a little bit longer. So we're just going to wait and see if Mario and Luigi could be revived or not. I'm really hoping so. I would love to see an HD Mario and Luigi game on a home console. Oh, it would make me so happy. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about this survey. And let me know, you know, if this makes you excited, if this gives you hope. Does it give you a little bit of <clears throat> a spark of hope? See how I did there, Mario Rabbits? Okay. But thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.